Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This time through, we're going to be playing a game brought to you by Dun 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 Human Head. And this is their game called Rune, which came out in 2000, and is based on Viking lore and Norse mythology, according to the back of the case here. Um, this is a third-person action-adventure game. And it's pretty good. I mean, the graphics aren't that great, and the voice acting is kind of subpar. But it's still kind of fun to play through, and I know it came out for the PS2 as well. So if you ever have a chance to uh, give it a try, I mean, I'm sure you can find this in the bargain bin for like a couple bucks nowadays, but definitely worth trying at least once. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and watch the opening cutscene. It's a few minutes long, and yeah, it kind of explains the backstory of the character, so it's kind of important. Um, so yeah, here we go. Oh, and because I've been dying a lot, I'm just going to go with the lowest difficulty, so yeah. From birth. The children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. Ragnarok. When wolves will swallow the sun and moon, when the stars will be snuffed and the earth will tremble. When the gods will face the tribes of giants in a final battle that will ravage all the nine worlds. All father of the gods, Odin, has always smiled upon the human race. To the most devout of his followers, he entrusts stones inscribed with his personal rune, a mark of his power in the human world of Midgar. These rune stones are protected by only the most valiant of human warriors until the day they die and are taken by the Valkyries to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Of all creatures, only one does not fear Ragnarok. The evil god, Loki. Bound deep in the bowels of the earth by Odin himself, only Ragnarok will set Loki free to have his revenge on gods and man alike. And it is only the power on Midgard of Odin and his runestones that holds Ragnarok at bay. Let us zoom in on this low quality texture so you may observe its pixels. People of Wotenkeld, we gather this day to honor one from our midst, younger than any ever so honored. He is yet wise and strong beyond his years. He has carried shields in the battles at Hindal and Uthabi, and aided in the fortification of this village, following the dark tales we have heard from the Northlands. Through trial by single combat, he has proven today that he is ready to take a place among the warriors of this village. Ragnar, son of Charles, Kneel here before the runestone of Odin and hear me. You must now put aside all childish things. Swear yourself to protect this stone and the village that surrounds and upholds it. Swear to stand beside your sword brothers until death to defend this holy shrine of the All Father. Raise now your sword and take up the glorious duties of the Odin's Blade. <laughs> of the Odin's Blade. 
Also, he reminds me of the guy from, uh, Princess Bride. Wav. Wav. Anyways, we are Ragnar. Can't you tell that's the most original character name ever? And we are gonna eat some fruits. And yeah. Basically, we run around and we eat stuff and we kill stuff. Ragnar! How are you, boy? <laughs> ah, I forgot myself. A warrior and a man now, aren't you? Congratulations, warrior. If you see any rope on your way to the longhouse, be sure to bring it down. We need to keep the ship well provisioned. <laughs> I'm just staring. <laughs> One does not keep off waiting unless you would like another scar. Oh, that's silly. I was staring at him dead in the face and just really slowly reached over and kicked the barrel. Just like a screw you to whatever his name was. So yeah, we basically... Oh, jeez. Apparently the weapons axe. master doesn't share the village's high opinion, boy. He awaits to test your skills in the longhouse. Okay. I'm gonna kick things. Also, if you couldn't tell, this is actually based on the Unreal Engine. Um, not sure which version of the Unreal Engine it is, but it is. So, yeah, have fun with that. And one of the things that I actually had the most difficulty with with this game was, um, was that I couldn't figure out how to get the game to recognize its own save files. Because you'll go into the menu, and you'll save your game, and if you quit and come back in, the save file isn't there anymore. So I was kind of just like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Um, but I discovered that if you actually right click on the save file and tell Windows, because I'm using Windows 7, um, if you tell Windows to open the save file with Rune, it forces Rune to open the save file making it so that you can pick up where you left off, which is pretty snazzy. I was also having trouble with the uh, the key bindings resetting themselves, but I edited the user configuration file and set it to read only, and that seemed to do the trick. Who's this? Greetings, young warrior. May Odin guide your sword on the field of battle. <laughs> Strength of arm will not always be enough. Shut up, wizard. And I know exactly where we're supposed to go, but I'm just trying to explore a little bit. Because I actually never found that guy with the, uh, the boat before. What does the note say? Too bad Ragnar can't Ragnar. read. It's fair time the village added your sword to our ranks, friend. Did Ulf? Uh, no. I can see you have yet to visit the weapons master. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does this note say? <laughs> Damn it, Ragnar, why can't you read? Okay, I guess we'll go the right way now. Having too much fun jumping around. So yes, we have to go over this way. And over here. Through the gate. Can't go in that door. Is there anything over there? No. So we gotta go over here. And fight the weapon master. Grab an axe. That's not what I wanted you to do. Grab an axe. Grab a sword. Kick some barrels. Oh yes, you can eat lizards, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of gruesome because you just bite their heads off and 
There we go, F5. But yeah, you just bite their heads off and then throw their limp bodies over your shoulder. So it's kind of gross. Now that I've kicked some things, it's so good. After the many hours you've trained, one might think you would know better than to keep me waiting. Be a good boy, but don't think I can't cut a stripling down to size. You may have bested Sigurd and been named the Odin's Blade, but the ceremony at the Runestone is nothing but words. I it was Tradition the Odin's says Blade. that before you truly become a man, you must face the most skilled warrior in the village. You must face me. This is the true trial. Defeat me in combat, and your place among us as a warrior is assured. Defend yourself. Nope. Would you like to fail this trial? Press your attack. Well, where did you learn that? Uh, well done, warrior. The trial is over. For I can nope. see that there is no more I can teach you. I trust experience to nope. show you the rest. Nope. Gotta smack your face in. Come on. Messengers on the beach! Conrack has besieged Copper Rood, and their runestone is under attack. We go to their it aid. It seems that we have completed your training just in time, Ragnar. To the long ship. That wasn't training. Herpder loading, pre-caching. Also, this game isn't supposed to run in 1920 by 1080 but that's the uh, resolution I'm running it in. So that's why when I do Copa this... Have been a staunch ally for many generations, my son. That gray bar And their runestone stands the as a proud beacon to longships coming in from sea. Gonrak must truly be foolish to besiege their home. Odin wow. himself will reach down from Asgard and smite the betrayer for his impudence. No, he won't. I know, because I've seen this part. <laughs> Oh, I kind of forgot about the rope, didn't I? Oh, well. I don't know if that's an actual side quest or just something they put in there to... stuff. There, my thing, on the horizon. It's Conrack and Sigurd. has a magnificent mustache and never closes his mouth. That's one thing you'll discover about the character models in this. They never shut their mouths completely. Which I think is odd. Gonrak, we fought side by side in many battles. Never would I have guessed that a Viking warrior could so betray every belief we served. No longer will I be but a servant, old man. Not to you, not the village, not to Odin himself. Copper Ooh, lies yeah. in ruins, and I have a mere handful of rune stones to destroy before all of Midgard will call me master. And how is it that Calm you down, come to stand man. by the betrayer's side, Sigurd? Whisking a man across the sea faster than the falcon flies is well within the powers of my new master. Why guard a rock when I can stand at the front of an army set to rule the world? I have 40 men within an axe throw of your hearts. Prepare to visit hell. With one L. That guy's sword just turned into an axe. I need but one to kill you, myself. As he summons up the power of the God Hand. I call upon the Dark One, the trickster trapped below. Call upon his powers, call them from the bowels of Midgard, and offer these, his foes, to his immortal lust for power and his insatiable hunger for vengeance. Nightmare. 
pork chop sandwiches. <clears throat> oh shit. <clears throat> you hear me do things. That face he makes, he just drops his jaw completely and shakes his head. Just like, oh! That's exactly what you do when your boat is on goddamn fire. You just stand there and then explode. And this, folks, is the end of the game. Hope you enjoyed it. See, here's the ending credits. Shortest game ever. Dead Viking. Whee! Whee! from dead space. Oh wait, no. It's just another dead viking. swim. And we can go up here with our sword. I'm actually looking for another weapon. I don't remember where it's... Is that it over there? I think that's it. Because that's one thing that um, you will learn very quickly is that weapons do not last forever. So certain weapons will only get you so far. Yes, we actually want to go down here. And there have actually been a couple of times before, well, oh, whoops. Guess we don't go that way. But there's been a couple of times while playing this where, where, where I've, uh, what am I trying to say? I've had my uh, weapons destroyed in areas where the only way to get to the next area is to kill everything. Needless to say, that doesn't go over so well. Oh, come on, Ragnar, get in the hole. I said, thought that's where I was supposed to go. Maybe not. Maybe I just go... Well, crap. Well, I don't remember where to go, so I'll just have to panic and hope I make it back up to the surface. Oh, controls. Yeah, we're gonna start drowning in a second here. Fortunately, all that really happens is Ragnar goes, and then you get your, uh, you get your air back. I mean, you do take a small bit of damage, but if you're quick, it usually doesn't add up too quickly. Seriously, I thought it was where, ah, uh, it's where the bubbles are coming from. So I had the right idea, just the wrong part of the ship. So, I want to go... There we go. Cutscene with the board that chases us. And yeah, oddly enough, the cutscene restores your uh, your oxygen. So they put this here, but you don't really need it. Because the area you're going to is uh, right over here. And you actually want to be kind of quick in this area because, as you'll see, well, maybe, if it swims by, yeah, there it is, there's a giant anglerfish who will kind of eat your face if you're not careful. 
So quick save and go here. Yeah, even though we broke that wall, we actually can't go through it. So we actually want to go down here. And up. And we want to go over here. And up here. Here and I actually forget what the point of coming over here is. Oh, we have to go over there, dirt. So we want to jump. And yeah, if you hold down spacebar um, while you're jumping, Ragnar will grab kind of loud, he'll grab onto stuff. And, uh, sorry, readjusting in my chair there. Anglerfish, please don't angle me. But, uh, he'll grab onto ledges and stuff. I don't know why I'm so out of breath right now, but for some reason, it's kind of hard to breathe. Not sure what's up with that. asthmatic or anything either, so who knows. What's up here? Apparently the way to go, that's what. And yeah, like I was saying with the, uh, the weapons that break very easily. I would, for the most part, ignore most of these enemies if you can, and try to find ways around them. We will want this shield, though. And we already have a sword, so we don't need another one. Oops. So what these things do, just so you are aware, is if they manage to get you, they will do this. And throw you off. And it's rather annoying. So generally I try to just dodge them. And that worked, kind of. So let's go. Oops. Because, yeah, in my opinion, it's better to just skip them because you honestly. I already have the maze. Um, you'll end up breaking so many of your weapons trying to get past them. I mean, not a lot, but the best weapon to use against them really is the sword, and I don't know about any of you who have played this before, but when I use the, uh, wait, where am I going? I don't remember now, but when I use the sword, I actually found that it broke a lot more quickly. <laughs> Here with the strange chanting, we want to. Oh, 
we got some stone dude. That's only slightly creepy. Got another sword. And see, it's kind of frustrating too, because once you have a sword, or a mace, or an axe, because that's the third weapon you can get, um, cutscene. You can't pick up another one until it breaks. Hear me, son of Jarl. I am Odin. And know that it is the Allfather himself who has saved you from certain death. You seek vengeance upon Conrak, and I have granted you this chance. Your journey through the underworld will be rife with danger, and you must arm yourself against the creatures that dwell within these caverns. But when next you breathe the open air, you will stand outside the fortress defiled by the Betrayer, the city of Thorstad. Good journey, warrior. And do not squander this opportunity. Duh, okay. Oh. Cat boom. I was gonna say, it's too bad there's not a way to just instantly kill yourself at that moment. That'd be funny. It's just like, do not squander this opportunity, and then you jump off a cliff and die. Kind of like I almost did there. And except for now, we're going to go over this ocean. Totally worth it, by the way. Aha, lizards, come to my aid. I like it that the corpses explode too. Just like, okay. Next area. So the quick save is much, much quicker as the name implies than the uh, regular save. So with the exception of dead lizard, oh, a live lizard. With the exception of saving between sets, I'm mostly just going to use the quick save uh, function. And yeah, I'm not sure if those bumps actually do anything, or if they're just there for you to uh, advance. Oh no! Swim! And where are we going? Not over there. Now that we kind of know. I want to go over this way. Ah, yes, and these giant jellyfish, um, they actually shoot out shock waves. They can hit you from quite a ways away, so definitely be careful around them. Wow, this is really first run into goblins. Some of which will get taken out by those things, which is nice. Yes, the mace is much more effective against crabs than it is against anything else. It's pretty good against the goblins too, I guess, but... Best against crabs. some reason. Haha! -ha. Dodged you, you sneaky little sausage. 
Whoa, whoa, timer, 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 So yes, that'll be it for this set. Um, things are starting to get a little more fast-paced, I'd say. Or you can see the pace is already kind of fast, that's why it's an action game. Anyways, um, next time we'll pick up from here and continue exploring these caves. And I shall see you then. Later.